We all know the claim. Muslims like to say that there's only one version of the Quran. They're all identical. And if you read one from one area and another one from another place, they would say the same thing. No differences. So, Hatton Tash, he was a well known Islamic apologist who goes to speakers' corner in London, put this to the test and asked an Arabic speaking Muslim to read a verse from two different Qurans to see if they matched. And this is what happened. Just read the first two lines. It's okay. Just read yeah, the yeah, first I, two I, lines. Yeah, yeah. 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 وجعلوا الملائكة الذين هم عباد الرحمن إناثا أشهدوا خلقهم ستكتب شهادتهم ويسألون وقالوا لو شاء الرحمن لو شاء الرحمن Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, you don't okay. need to go. So can you, what, what can you read the word, the phrase which I underline, yeah. pronounce it in Arabic and then translate the verse for yeah. us? It, it say about the disbeliever, that the disbeliever says that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, create the angel as women, as female. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ask him, Ashaidu Khalkahum, did they witness the creation of the angel? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala denying that because the angel is created of, of light and they are not female, not male. They are created of light. Can you read the underlying verse? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yeah, yeah. saying, saying their, their testimony will be written down and they will be asked by Almighty God about this. That means Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala confirming that the angel, they are not women or men, but they are created servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, now can you read the underlined word and then tell us what is that word meaning? Ibadur Rahman. Ibadur Rahman, that means a servant of Allah. Okay. Ar -Rahman Ar -Rahim. Thank you. Thank you. So, now, can you read the same, same verse in here? So, one Quran said, angels are the servant of Allah. Yeah, yeah, I'm not asking. Okay. I want you to read that verse for us. This is Surah al zukhruf and we can see, we can see. Just read the verse, yeah, yeah. I will. Read the khutbah. وَجَعَلُوا الْمَلَائِكَةَ الَّذِينَ هُمْ Instead of Ibadul Rahman, Indal Rahman, that means they are with Allah instead of the servant of Allah. Okay. And it's obvious that this Quran is false because any reciter of the Quran, any reciter of the Quran, prove that this, this is a Muslim this Quran. Quran, I admit this is a false. that yeah. the Quran, Biriwayat Hisham bin Ammar, oh. is a false Quran. The Quran is a false Quran. Okay. So, yeah, Quran is a Muslim who reads Arabic, so read, it, the, read the verse for us. This is my in Quran. one of them is the servant, and in uh, this one, don't touch which, me, uh, in the presence of Allah. I'm asking you. So, Where, which, Muslim uh, identifies which, uh, which, this Quran as the false uh, the, Quran. Uh, let so, me open you got it. nothing to do with that Quran. No, I have two Quran, and then Muslim wants to pick this Quran. So, all Qurans are the same? Mm hmm. I know last time I made a video like this, Muslims were in my comments saying it's just different recitals or whatever. But if you've got the same word in Arabic, but pronouncing it differently, surely it should come out with the same words if you translate it. Which this video shows, and this guy who's reading in Arabic from two different Qurans, showing that they say different things. So. Who's going to be bold enough to admit, like him, that it doesn't match and one is different to the other? He admits it. He claims one is false and one is true. So, can you?